AMD Radeon RX 6650 XT Review. The new GeForce RTX 2060 is a brilliant graphics card, easily the fastest and sharpest looking one we've yet to see in this form factor. While it does still go down with enemies of the color palette in 4K, you can use it for anything that isn't limited by resolution. It's nicely designed and appealing to the eye, but puts in just enough provocativeness so that you'll have to shake your head at what a messed up little hand this thing really is. The metal enclosure ensures that the card is well ventilated, which not only helps to dissipate heat but keeps the card's interior temperature around 15 degrees Celsius. Once put in a space where it's comfortable, this is a decent system. Power draw is a significant issue with many graphics cards and it also comes with some quite obvious limitations, up there being the card size, the bigger it is for a given power draw will be, used more frequently. But guess what, the Warfinger's card control peripheral also provides a general purpose output for you to use it for any machine that has a standard USB connection. Asus isn't a well-known premium brand, but the RX 6650 XT specifically addresses those concerned about affordable price and quality. This is certainly not the perfect budget solution for everyone, but this features makes it possible for anyone to be very competitive from both a cost and feature perspective. However, the card isn't powerful enough for a business. This is because it does not appeal to an audience that understands the subject matter of your business in a profound way. As far as the chipset goes, this card features a mid-range Navi 26 GPU with 48 streaming multiprocessors and 16 pixel stream processors. Due to its mid-tier graphics architecture, its CNA run games at 1080p 60fps. The RX 6490 is the latest graphics card from AMD to support the DirectX 12 game stream platform and can handle all DirectX 12 games at 4K resolution with ease. The RX 6650 XT has a steady 3.2 to 3.67% increase in base clock speed over the competing RX 6550 XT and is around 6.5% faster than the AG7101 Neo site. It remains about 5 to 6% slower than the Cairo 35MX versus 1650ths MHz. On the CPU side of things, AMD's R9280X is almost 10% faster than its predecessor, the R7260X. The Radeon RX 6600 XT is a useful upgrade over the RX 6650 due to its performance boost. There's also an improvement in the GPU and memory speeds but it's not enough to turn this into a super card, as it won't compete directly with top performance graphics cards. AI writers can help you save time and effort. At Avid we are dedicated to improving the efficiency of our writing workloads to make as much as we can out of existing marketing, advertising and business processes in the shortest possible time. GPU computing is huge, and AMD's EGCN Plus processor pack is one of the most powerful APUs yet. Radeon EOS graphics cards are built on this technology which allows them to perform some very advanced tasks with astonishing performance. With Tensor Cores, this graphics card is much more capable than the stock RTX 1060 graphics cards. The bandwidth configuration ranges from 8GB to 32GB, depending on the quality of the image being processed. This allows it to work in ADC applications such as motion capture and the like. Well, RX 6650RT belongs to the RX 5600 family, which is not as speedy as a Radeon 5850 or 6970. The only exception are in DX11 at 1080p. Moving to higher resolutions and first-person games is simply going to improve the technology. Eventually, it'll be a matter of resolution rather than frame rate that matters, meaning better gaming performance at ultra-high-end graphics cards. Even though the new RX 6950 XC is much more powerful than its predecessor, clock speeds are less useful for gaming performance. With advancements like GeForce GTX 1060-1070 that offer amazing performance for high framerate games, seriously improve the value proposition of graphics cards. This new generation of cards can only help expand our reach and bring you even greater quality at home and on the go.